But first, a woman who lost it all after a hurricane and then a fire, given hope for a happy Thanksgiving for her and for her seven children. Things that you have could be taken from you and just be thankful. It's a story of giving on this day of thanks. A local family, hurricane victims, devastated twice by tragedy after escaping to Sacramento. Good evening. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Christina Janes. I'm Tony Lopez. Thanks for joining us. The new place that family was staying was damaged in a recent fire. All their belongings gone in seconds. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins joins us from the newsroom. Macy, one viewer is stepping in to help. Well, Christina and Tony, investigators are still trying to find the arsonist who they believe responsible for starting that fire. It left several people displaced just days before the holiday, including a Texas woman and her seven children with nowhere to go until now. These seven smiling siblings are just enjoying their Thanksgiving morning. Savoring this moment of calm after weeks of weathering quite the storm. August 25th, Hurricane Harvey ripped through Texas. Two days before, DeAndrea Hubbard packed up her seven kids and hit the road for Sacramento. Days later, she learned her home had been destroyed. Since then, she's been staying in North Highlands at the Courtyard Inn, but a Sunday morning fire forced the family out of their room. I told my mama that she was like, put your shoes on. <laughs> then. We start running. Emilio Castillo runs Amazing Limousines of Sacramento. He learned about Hubbard's story from a CBS 13 viewer and decided he wanted to help. It's all about family, everybody giving back to everybody, being there for each other, uh, even for the people that we don't know. He offered decked out transportation for the family of eight and paid for a two night stay at the residence inn. Hubbard now overwhelmed with gratitude. If I'm not anything else, that's one thing I am. The proud mom asked us not to show her face on camera because she didn't want anyone to think she was looking for a handout. I'm a hard worker and I don't, you know, take advantage of things. Still, she says she's happy to have a room and an oven on this holiday and to be able to teach her kids what the day of thanks is all about. It's that you should value your family and be thankful. What are you about to do today for the kids now I'm that about you have to this cook. kitchen? I'm about to prepare and thanks a lot for everything. I found the viewer who first saw the story on CBS 13 and talked to her on the phone. She says she grew up with a single mom and couldn't imagine being one of those kids with nowhere to turn on Thanksgiving. As for Hubbard, she's still trying to land on her feet and find a way to give her kids as much stability as she can. A reminder, we have lots of kind-hearted viewers, no yes. doubt. Missy, thanks for that. We received this story from a viewer, so if you have a story idea, please let us know. You can use Twitter, Facebook, or send us an email to news at cbs13.com.